My name is Samantha Ron, and I'm the wine director here at Araxi Restaurant and Oyster Bar and the cellar by Araxi. And I'm Eric Blois, owner of Taste Whistler. Now I'm going to go straight into the first important part of tasting. You have to look at the wine. The reason why you look at the wine is that, well, first, you know, it's going to give you an idea if it's a, you know, lighter style, darker style, you know, just with the color, if you see through the wine, if you don't see through the wine. It's going to also tell you about uh, if the wine is faulty. If it's a little cloudy, if it looks weird, or even if there's a piece of cork in it, you know. And uh, once you've assessed the appearance, uh, you go and put your nose in that glass. This is probably the most important thing about wine tasting and I think especially in a situation like we would see at like the Crush Gala at Cornucopia where there's a lot of there's a lot of wines to taste and people want to taste everything. They want to always just get it in their mouth but the aromas are the most captivating, most exciting part of wine for sure. For me, when I'm tasting wine, sometimes I get so wrapped up in the aromas of the wine, I don't even get around to tasting it for some time. But I know Eric is probably anxious to take a sip, so we should try this and see what we think. So when you want to taste the wine, you want to keep a bit of wine in your mouth, right? You just want to, you don't want to drink it. You're tasting, really, you are. So. So we're on your mouth. Um, so that you know you coat your palate you know you, you'll feel uh, sweetness you'll taste the sweetness or, or you'll you'll feel acidity on your gum and so different parts of your mouth will give you uh, will react differently to various characteristics of the wine really a lot of wines to taste at cornucopia this year um, you really can't drink them all or you're not going to survive you are not going to make it give wine a chance spit <laughs> You know? Give wine a chance. Give yourself a chance. You want to be able to finish the night, you know, remembering the good wines that you tasted. So, you know, take your time, spit the wine, it's all good. A couple of additional pro tips for making the best of your cornucopia experience. No heels, no perfume.